batteries cannot replace diesel. However, innovative technologies with ammonia are emerging. Significant investment is flowing into startups focusing on hydrogen, signaling a transformative future for transportation and energy. Elon Musk has introduced an innovative water-powered engine. This innovation is astonishing and promises to revolutionize our understanding of engines. It paves the way for an era of unparalleled environmental sustainability. But why is this water-powered engine so distinct? How might it alter global technology and ecology? Let's delve into the mechanics behind Musk's new venture. We will explore its broad implications, anticipating a sustainable and innovative future. Energy Shift at Tesla Elon Musk, the renowned leader of Tesla, surprised everyone with an unexpected announcement. After years of skepticism, he revealed that in 2024, Tesla would adopt hydrogen energy instead of traditional batteries. This decision represents a significant turnaround, especially considering Musk previously criticized hydrogen fuel cells. The Model H will be the first Tesla car to use this new energy source. The shift was motivated by challenges in the production of the 4680 battery. Thus, Tesla is turning to hydrogen energy as an alternative. Since 2003, Tesla, under Musk's leadership, has been a pioneer in electric vehicles. Elon Musk has dedicated himself to improving people's lives with advanced technology and sustainability. He has been an active proponent of renewable energies, and Tesla has been at the forefront of the green transportation revolution. Musk seeks to redefine how we think about energy and climate change. Recently, Tesla announced the introduction of hydrogen fuel cells. This technology is critical to understanding the future driving experience. Cars are known for their contribution to climate change, but electric vehicles offer an alternative. Tesla, with Musk at the helm, produces half a million of these vehicles annually. They rely on large batteries, similar to those in laptops, that store electricity. However, challenges such as long charging times and high costs have limited their adoption. Hydrogen fuel cells emerge as a promising solution. They offer significant advantages over traditional batteries, such as shorter recharge times and greater range. This advance represents a significant evolution in the automotive industry and how we face environmental challenges. With this change, Tesla not only continues to lead in automotive innovation but also reinforces its commitment to sustainability and combating climate change. The Future of Hydrogen Cars Elon Musk, known for his skeptical views on hydrogen technology, now sees a growing interest in the automotive industry for hydrogen fuel cells. However, what is a hydrogen fuel cell and how does it work? This cell, strategically placed in the vehicle, works with other components like the battery and the electric motor. Several cells operate together through reverse electrolysis, where hydrogen and oxygen produce electrical energy. Fuel cells, unlike conventional batteries, are smaller and constantly recharged. This ensures a continuous supply of electricity. The byproduct of this process is only water vapor, which does not harm the environment. The purity of a hydrogen use determines its environmental impact. Despite varied public views, scientists consider this technology promising for the future. Electric cars with fuel cells offer environmental advantages and user experience benefits. They are notably quiet, without the mechanical sounds of conventional cars. Moreover, hydrogen cars stand out for their rapid refueling time. While conventional electric vehicles may take hours to charge, hydrogen cars are ready quickly, provided they are refueled. This, along with the efficiency of hydrogen tanks, provides greater range. The Model H, expected in 2024, will be an example of these innovations, with notable acceleration and range. Currently, hydrogen cars are more expensive, due to their rarity and few refueling stations. However, the automotive industry, driven by climate change, is adopting these clean technologies. Tesla, leading this change, promises future releases such as Models 2 and Z, expected in 2025 and 2027. This shift signals a significant transformation in the automotive sector. Elon Musk, always at the center of controversy, has strong opinions on hydrogen as fuel. 
However, not everyone in the automotive industry shares his perspective. There is a debate over the potential of hydrogen fuel cells versus traditional batteries. Musk, at events like the Automotive News World Congress, criticized fuel cells. He highlighted the difficulties of production, storage, and use of hydrogen. However, the automotive industry is diverse, with companies like Toyota and Hyundai investing in hydrogen vehicles. In addition to large manufacturers, smaller companies are also involved in the development of these vehicles. The contrast of opinions also extends to other prominent figures in the sector. Herbert Dias, CEO of the Volkswagen Group, for example, sees green hydrogen as more suitable for heavy industries. He argues that for automobiles, hydrogen is expensive, inefficient, and logistically challenging. This debate reveals different visions within the industry about the future of hydrogen cars. Hydrogen in the automotive industry Elon Musk, the renowned CEO of Tesla, has a well-defined opinion on hydrogen. He often refers to fuel cells as full cells. His stance does not seem to have changed, as per statements made in 2020. CNBC, when interviewing Tesla, confirmed that Musk's view is based on the differences between traditional electric vehicles and those powered by hydrogen. Vehicles with hydrogen fuel cells are also known as FSEVs. They resemble electric vehicles in the use of electric motors but differ in energy generation. Traditional electric vehicles use rechargeable batteries. In contrast, FSEVs generate energy internally, combining hydrogen with oxygen. This debate reflects uncertainty about the future of transportation. In June, the BMW Group highlighted the potential of hydrogen in vehicles. Despite the growing interest, hydrogen vehicles have yet to dominate the market. Companies like River Simple are leasing hydrogen cars, showing that they are not widely sold yet. Toyota, a strong advocate of this technology, sees its use going beyond cars, encompassing everything from heating to heavy industry. The Fuel Cell and Hydrogen Energy Association also supports this view, highlighting the advantages of FSEVs, such as zero emissions and quick refueling. Beyond cars, larger vehicles are in focus. Trucks, buses, trains, and planes are considering the use of hydrogen fuel cells. Martin Dom, CEO of Daimler Trucks, suggests a balanced approach. Battery electric vehicles are ideal for urban deliveries, while long journeys would benefit from hydrogen fuel cells. Advancements and Challenges of Technology The technology of hydrogen fuel cells is extremely versatile and extends beyond use in automobiles. In Europe, Alstom, a leading transport company, created the Cordia Island. This is considered the world's first passenger train powered by hydrogen fuel cells. In aviation, there are projects for hydrogen electric commercial flights. These are expected to begin in 2024. In the construction sector, innovations such as JCB's 20-ton excavator stand out. It also uses hydrogen fuel cells. The trajectory of hydrogen fuel cells sparks great interest. However, their widespread adoption faces various challenges. Honda for instance, stopped production of the Clarity plug-in hybrid and fuel cell models. This reveals difficulties related to durability and cost. In the United States, the government points to limited infrastructure as a significant barrier. There is concern about the current capacity to support fuel cell vehicles on a large scale. In addition, green hydrogen, obtained from renewable sources, faces competition. It competes not only with traditional hydrogen but also with gasoline, diesel, and electricity. The Global EV Outlook 2021, by the International Energy Agency, highlights the difference in the number of fuel cell electric vehicles and traditional electric vehicles. It attributes this to the scarcity of hydrogen refueling stations. Recently, there have been intense debates on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter. Discussions revolved around Musk's change in stance towards these hydrogen vehicles. Many are skeptical, waiting for more information. Another trending topic is the possibility of an ammonia-powered engine. Ammonia, a compound of hydrogen, has a higher energy density than hydrogen gas. Thus, an ammonia engine could offer a greater range without the harmful emissions of traditional engines. Ammonia can also be produced sustainably. 
However, the widespread use of ammonia faces obstacles. These include the lack of infrastructure for refueling, safety issues, and the energy-intensive production process. There are still doubts about the viability of ammonia as fuel. Neuralink, Innovation and Transformation In the quest for low or zero emission solutions for 21st century transportation, battery electric vehicles are at the forefront. However, the path to success is not straightforward. There are several obstacles along the way. On the other hand, Neuralink, another Musk initiative, promises significant advances. It may solve a wide range of brain problems. Neuralink has the potential to reveal much about the workings of the brain and mind. Musk envisions a future where much of human intelligence will be digital. This could open new horizons in our understanding of cognition. Elon Musk, the mind behind Neuralink, is on a revolutionary mission. He seeks to address complex problems of the brain and spinal cord, promising a new era in neural medicine. Neuralink aims to develop a complete brain interface, enabling direct interaction with the brain on various levels. Musk emphasizes that this evolution will not be sudden but gradual and noticeable. The entrepreneur envisions a future where Neuralink could elevate human cognitive capabilities to extraordinary levels. Initially, the company's focus is on treating brain injuries and spinal conditions. For several years, Neuralink will be instrumental for people with mobility loss or traumatic brain injuries. This initial focus is crucial for the progressive development of the technology. Among Musk's many projects, Neuralink may be the most significant. He sees it as a way to join forces with artificial intelligence, enhancing communication between our cerebral cortex and the digital layer. We are already three-level intelligence beings, the limbic system, the cortex, and the digital layer. Neuralink promises to enhance this symbiotic relationship. Musk believes in the possibility of transferring our brain capacity to a digital platform. Neuralink seeks to understand the complexity of the brain and its connection to the mind. In the long term, the goal is a complete fusion between the biological and digital minds. Musk argues that we are already cyborgs in a way, with our smartphones and computers acting as extensions of ourselves. Neuralink aims to enhance this connection, making it more efficient. Musk compares neurons to brain wiring and underscores the importance of electronic solutions for neural problems. He believes that Neuralink will bring significant advances in understanding the brain and the mind. For him, understanding the brain requires precise sensors and the ability to measure stimulus and response. He discusses the paradox of the cerebral cortex, highlighting its intelligence but also its role in satisfying the primitive limbic system. Musk emphasizes that brain and spinal problems are common and vary in severity. He believes that Neuralink's implantable devices can solve a range of neurological issues, from memory loss to paralysis. Musk assures that Neuralink exceeds conventional safety standards. He explains that the brain can be divided into two parts, the primitive brain and the cortex, which work together. Neuralink seeks to enhance this relationship without eliminating any parts. The ultimate goal of Neuralink is to restore functionality in individuals with severed connections between brain and body. Musk points out that skills from various fields are necessary for Neuralink's development, not just knowledge in biology. He mentions that the company needs experts in software, batteries, radios, among others. Musk is confident in the transformative potential of Neuralink. He believes that eventually, quadriplegics will be able to manipulate technology more efficiently than people with functional limbs. Neuralink also plans to restore vision by directly stimulating neurons in the visual cortex. Musk envisions a future where Neuralink not only heals but enhances human capacity. He anticipates the resolution of a variety of brain and spinal problems. The company aims to implant devices in quadriplegics, allowing them to operate technology efficiently. In summary, Neuralink, under the leadership of Elon Musk, is paving the way for unprecedented advances in the field of neurotechnology. With a focus on both healing and enhancing human capabilities, Neuralink promises to transform the way we interact with technology and understand our own brain. So, what do you think of all this? 
Is hydrogen energy set to surpass the electric cars already produced by Tesla? Is Neuralink another promising idea from Musk? Comment below with your opinion and don't forget to see what others are saying too.